Jesus, my dear. Beloveds and cherished missionary church uh, viewers and supporters and partners, uh, my name is Achi Lepoy, and then next to me it's my wife uh, Popi Lepoy. So both of us we are from Northern Cape, place called Postmas Bay. We came and visit the man of God to come and hear the mind of God, and also to come and get their gui guidance on what really needs to happen within our lives, what you need to do and how and which things we need really to pray for. So. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, as my husband has said, my name is Popi Lipoy. We are staying in Postmas Bank, Northern Cape. I came here for one-on-one -on -one to hear the mind of God in our lives. It, I'm here to just to testify and 
give the confirmation of what the man of God, Prophet Andres, have said about my health. Uh, uh, the reason why I pushed that we must come to the church because I was suffering. Even at work, I couldn't perform my daily duty because of the pains I experienced. Sometimes when I have to wake up and go to work, I feel like I can sit at home because of the pains and the coughing, the a coughing that I experienced because I ex I was coughing, let me say day and night. I can't say I will cough in the morning or during the day or when. I was coughing at any time and anywhere. And it was extreme because now sometimes I can't even oh, I can't even control myself when when I was coughing and then I asked my husband that can't we please go to meet rent to, to see the man of God at M Charis Missionary Church. Uh, by the grace of God, we got an opportunity to see the man of God one on one. It's where the man of God to told me. He didn't even ask me. He told me that, woman, I see you are having a chest pains and you don't sleep at night because of the body and the body pains also. So I told him, I say, man of God is true. That's what I'm suffering from. And then he said that God is going to do greater things for you in your life. You have to pray hard so that God can open the way for you and heal you. So I believe I am healed because firstly, I couldn't have talked so much. I, I, if I was talking, I, I have to drink water because of cocoa persistently. But now I am healed. I thank God for the healing. I'm free. I've been set free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Okay. Yeah, the man of God also prophesied, actually, my wife, that uh, she's seeing that she's having challenges at workplace whereby people actually are using some, some mutis uh, against her so that she can be taken out. And she also confirmed, actually, that there, during the time, actually, the man of God asked her that she needs to pray. She needs to be constantly in prayer. And then she also confirmed that yeah, she needs really to increase the level of prayer. So those are the things that I think men of God also mentioned. And the other thing that the point that he also mentioned during prophecy was that people want to eliminate her. So which was actually the, the thing that also I told her that we all know that uh, since she had COVID and challenges previously, she's been prayed for. But after that, the challenge after challenge. And also the men of God also also actually talk about it, that when we are alone, when we are outside there, the normally the enemy comes and challenge us and come and get us way in to come in and, and bring sickness to our, to our body. And also, yeah, men of God also profess to my mom, who she's not here at home, that we need to pray for her for the legs. She was here last uh, when men of God was complaining about their knees and prayed for her. And then also men of God have emphasized that we need to constantly keep on praying. We must not get tired. We must not feel tired. We must just know that people are using mutis. They don't forget to use their muti. And us as Christians, we also must not forget to pray every time, every day, every minute, every hour, every second. Amen. After the prayer, I feel that I'm a new person. I'm a brand new man. I'm healed. I'm I've been set free. I'm delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So after the prophecies and prayer, really I'm blessed. I cannot really complain. And all the men of God have just prophesied to unto us. It's it's really hundred percent. No doubt, no anything. And I'm believing God to do us great. Actually also forgot something is maybe just to add on on the testimony that he also saw that there's a white car he see that I'm I need to um, I'm he see me driving that white Toyota Bucky which was also one of my prayer that we want to buy the new Toyota Bucky. So I believe that God actually is about to answer because the second prophecy that the man of God same thing, same car that he also mentioned. So really I believe that God is about to do create the new things in our life. Amen. For anyone who's going to see this video, I really want to encourage that come to Charis. Um, we we've been here, been blessed, we've been really prayed for, we've been delivered, we've been healed here, 
and we have seen really the hand of God on 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 this church. So a couple times, many times we've been here, um, and always God revealed new things, and that's something that I want to encourage people that. Don't sit at home with your issues, with your challenges, with your sicknesses. Anything that you have encountered, come to church. Make sure that you just make sure that you end up here. And then I believe and I know that God will already have done something great in your life. And your life will never be the same again. Your challenges will be the past. will never be an issue again going forward. Amen. Amen. You leave this chest today. You leave this chest. Leave it. Leave this chest. Jesus. Uh, today I have an <coughs> opportunity to, to see Apostle one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Apostle gave the uh, confirmation for what uh, Prophet Andrew said yesterday about the health, my health. He said that he is very concerned about my health because uh, there is pains everywhere in my body, of which is true. I confirm it's true. Uh, also, the apostle actually gave a prophecy to my children that we, as well, my children, actually, what we, two months of last year, we came, uh, where he prophesied my eldest child, my eldest son, to get married and also confirm. I also came actually to come and testify and give a testimony that the young man we are celebrating his marriage last weekend. So which was a really good thing that I'm really happy that they are eventually come to pass. We're just really happy that when the men of God start also to say, let's pray for them and make sure that also both older children have been protected by the men of God. Thank you. And how do you feel after your one-on-one -on -one session with both the Apostle and Prophet Andres? Wow, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's God actually working in this place. Really, it's a blessing that we cannot explain. Sometimes when we think about it, we can even feel like crying, literally, because of it's, it's things that we cannot. It's emotional. I don't know how to tell everyone at home to share that. How does it feel like? But it's it's really a miracle, and I'm thankful and grateful that God is still using. Uh, the men of God, Prophet Andres and Apostle Magranisa, and they also avail themselves actually because it's a it's a it's a two ways to, that they can also decide that no, I'm not available, but for them really to come and save for people, I'm really grateful and full. Yeah, and my life is changed forever. I believe coming next time I will come with a testimony.